Hi everybody and welcome back to Steph Stories and Crafts. This week's story is Pinkalicious Pink Around the Rink, which is a first for Steph Stories and Crafts because it's the first book I'm reading that I didn't write personally. This book was written by Victoria Khan and there's a whole series of Pinkalicious books which are a lot of fun. So the craft that that book inspired is ice skating watercolor paintings. So what you're going to need for this week's craft is a heavyweight paper. Watercolor paper is the best, but if you don't have that, cardstock or construction paper will work fine. Some markers, paper mouthwash cups, popsicle sticks, food coloring, scissors, tape, and water. And a freezer. So the first step in this project is transforming your popsicle sticks into ice skaters. So I'm just going to take my popsicle sticks and draw an ice skater onto my popsicle stick. Now your popsicle sticks will be submerged into ice at least the bottom third of your popsicle stick. So these drawings really don't need to be very big at all. And there's my ice skater. Now, the next step is making your paint. Take out your paper and mouthwash cups. Pour water into your cup until it's just about an inch full. Take your food coloring drops and drop some in your water. And you can add a few drops of one color and then maybe add a different color and see what color that makes. It'll be a really fun experiment for your kids and a lesson in color mixing. And simply take your ice skater and stir the water with them. Now you do want the water in your cup to be slightly darker than you want your paint color to be because it does lighten when it goes on the page. Now take out some tape and lay it over the top of your cup and take your scissors and add just a little slit for your popsicle person to go through and slide them in. This helps your popsicle stick stay upright while your paint freezes in the freezer, which is the next step. Once you've made as many ice skating paints as you want, Put them in the freezer and wait until they are frozen. So, once your paints are frozen, set them out of the freezer. You'll want to leave them out of the freezer for a good 5 to 10 minutes before you're ready to use them. Because if they're too frozen, they won't paint. And now, we paint! And you can see here how much lighter the color is on the page than it is on the ice cube. <laughs> Alrighty everybody, that's today's craft. Make sure you tune in on Wednesday to find out just how Pinkalicious inspired this project. And have a great time painting. Bye bye!